Happy Manic Monday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by. So today, the weather has been a bit of a Monday. Um, it was nice when I got up. It was a little chilly, but not bad. Didn't need a coat, just needed my hoodie. Went to go do laundry. On the way there, it was decent weather. You know, I mean, it was overcast, but it's February. So, you know, no biggie. So I get to the laundromat, and I'm doing laundry, doing fine, you know, no biggie. Come out of the laundromat with my clean clothes in my cart. It is drizzling, and it is cold, and I needed my coat, and I didn't have it, and I don't know what was going on with the weather because it just decided to be a booger to me. But I made it home, and I wanted to stay home so bad once I was home. I didn't want to have to leave again, but it's Monday, which means creative arts. And if I want my skein of yarn for today, I had to get up and go to Creative Arts. So I went, and go figure, because I mean, I was home, the time between laundry and leaving for group, I was home for hour, hour and a half. So I had time to, you know, I mean, like I had roasted Brussels sprouts for dinner or lunch and worked on um, the Melody Cardi and just kind of chilled out for a little bit for an hour and a half. And in the hour and a half, the weather went back to being nice. I mean, nice for February in Oklahoma. I mean, it was still overcast, but it wasn't raining. And, you know, it wasn't really windy. I wore my coat anyway, just because I don't trust it. And so, went to group. And group was about... The theme today is about gratitude, which is fine. Gratitude is a very good thing. Gratitude journaling is a very good thing. And I know my friend David has been on me for a decade at least. Have I known him a decade? I've known him more than a decade. He's been on me for a long time. Like almost the entire time I've known him, he has been riding my butt to do gratitude journaling. And I've tried. I honestly have. I mean, like, never mind the fact that I sit down and suddenly my mind goes blank and all I can think is, I'm grateful, you know, I have clothes. I'm grateful. I, you know, I mean, I, I have to take it down to the very simple things sometimes just because I can't, as soon as I go to do it, I can't think of anything. Um, but my main problem with it is I don't like, I mean, it makes me feel awkward and embarrassed and I don't know why I mean that was just the weirdest thing in the world to think to be embarrassed about gratitude I mean, am I embarrassed about having these things you know what is it? I don't know I mean I have I don't really have that much of a problem thanking people for stuff um but Something about the gratitude journal, I don't know. It just, it's, it's an icky thing for me. And it, I don't know any time that it hasn't been. I did Google, you know, do a little bit of Google research, you know, Professor Google. And what Professor Google says is that a lot of people actually get embarrassed with and awkward with gratitude, expressing gratitude. And... A lot of times it can be related to expressing gratitude makes you feel indebted or being needy. And that makes a world of sense. I, okay, I am probably the neediest motherfucker out there. I hate being needy. I hate needing people. I want to be independent to a fault. I mean, I... I never grew out of that toddler, I do it myself thing. Although I have failed so many times doing it myself. But I hate asking for help. That is one of the hardest things in the world for me to do. And so if expressing gratitude makes me, you know, somewhere in the back of my head feel needy, that would explain why I end up feeling embarrassed um, Whenever I have to express, you know, not have to, but whenever I'm expressing gratitude or working on a gratitude journal. That's something that I might bring up with my therapist 
or I might continue to ignore the topic for a while. I'm not sure what yet. So, but anyway, speaking of gratitude, <coughs> as I get choked up here, I got happy mail. Yay! This is from CJ from Scrap It Do. It's awesome. Thank you. I see. I do what? I got a little 2020 um, calendar with a note on there, um, a little notepad on there, and there's a note. I mean, so I'm there. I'm gonna keep the note unless they say specifically to read the note that I can read the note on camera. I will keep the notes private. So, but that and a pair of socks. They're so cute. What are these things? Look at these. Little toe socks. And little cats. I love them. I might wear these the next day I go to yoga. But actually, probably what happened is I'll probably wear them tomorrow because I'm just, I'm so tickled with them. And the calendar thing is that is going on my on my fridge when I'm done with this video. So so thank you. I, I much I, I I like getting letters from you guys. I like getting emails from you guys. I mean I save every email that comes in um you guys send me because I mean and that's one of the things I talked about on the little gra the thing we did in the group today with the gratitude was, you know, we had these little prompts and it was just kind of like a writing exercise. You write, you know, according to what the prompt was and what was, what was a good thing that happened to me today. And I said, you know, it was the happy mail. But also it's emails. Anytime that you guys email me, because I get a lot of emails from you guys that are saying, you know, hey, I struggle with anxiety and depression too. Seeing you, you know, brings a smile to my face, or I like your sense of humor, or, you know, you, you know, anytime, especially when y'all are saying that me getting up here and whining about my life and telling you about the boring things that I'm doing during the week, and sometimes not so boring, but I mean, you know, just getting up here and talking about myself, and you guys email me and say, hey, this actually helps me, this, I like this, you know, keep doing this, you I save those emails. They mean a lot to me. So, you know, um, and then, you know, so anytime you have stuff like that, I mean, it, it, it really is cool. So I, I, I do like this. Stuff. Now I do have two finished objects today. They're itty bitty, tiny finished objects. Scrunchies. This is some of the Mexico yarn. And this is from when I frogged some yarn yesterday on um on the project so i've got my whip mystery is whittled down quite a bit so and it's, it is set in the levels between the these are things i'm actively working on these are the things that are kind of mid-range projects and then the the stuff down at the bottom is things that i'm working on that are more just when i need a break from everything else and i'll just move to those so but I have these that get to go on the scrunchy, the scrunchy string. All my scrunchies that I've got for right now. And the girl was in that wasn't able to go to group last week was there this week and so she got her scrunchie she's very happy um of course there's a request now to make a beanie so that will come up i mean i'll work on one but it's probably that's not you know i got other things i want to work on first so and i need to find a different i mean i've got plenty of beanie patterns saved that i like i've just got to find one that i want to do so those are my finished objects. Now, my I I frogged out all of the moss stitch of the Melody Cardi yesterday, or yeah, this morning, and redid it. 
So, I guess it looks okay. It's I'm I'm learning the stitch, and theoretically, it is an easy stitch. You know, um, single chain or single crochet, chain one, and then skip. So, you know, then single crochet or single chain in the um, single chain space from the one before. I mean, it's the market bag that I was doing is like I is kind of was a modified um, moss stitch, just spread out double crochet, you know, whatnot. But for whatever reason, I this is giving me fits, and I'm already I had to rip out another row because I somehow managed to lose um stitches like not one or two but I'll lose like well they're always in multiples of two that I tend to lose but I've lost um there's 101 stitches in a row and I just finished this last one that had 98 stitches and I'm like well I guess that's not multiples of two but um I finished it with like 98 stitches, and I'm like, how in the world? So I have to rip the whole thing out. Not the whole thing, but the whole row out. Start over again, because because I'm counting every row. So I know the previous row was fine. So, and it's not a pattern issue. It's user error. It is me. I, so, and I'm at the point where now where it's frustrating me enough that I need to take a step back from it from like a day or two work on something that and kind of a, an easy project that is somewhat mindless that I can do that will actually give me that feeling of success again so that I can you know go in there and kick butt on the on the cardigan again so I'm going to work for the next day or so work on my just my plain solid color corner to corner blanket and um I do need to get a lot of progress set on that for one I want to I have another project I want to get started but I also want to use it while it's still cold enough that I can use it to sleep with at night. Um, I do have a, the, my yarn allowance each week is going towards a um, specific project. So I need to get that project started soon if I want my ADHD self to be able to finish it by Christmas. So... But anyway, tomorrow I have my DBT group. That's the education group with learning distress tolerance and crisis, you know, management, emotional regulation. I like that group. Um, although, you know, I do have that whole, I don't want to get up and go to it, but I know it's good. It'll be fine for me. I, I just suck it up and go. Um, and I'll be fine once I get up. And It's like, I hate wait, I hate getting out of bed in the morning. Um. But I know that once I can get myself from the, the couch to the bathroom, I'm fine. I will lay, I will wake up and be awake for like a half hour or longer, dreading getting up the whole time knowing that if I can just make it through that three seconds of getting off the couch, I'll be fine. But I will spend half an hour dreading a three second experience. Um, but I was like, once I leave in the morning to go to the group, the group's fine because I'll go to the group and they go from the group. I'll go to Michael's. Yay. Cause it's Tuesday, which means I get to go to spend my yarn allowance and then I go grocery shopping and then come home tomorrow and cook dinner and dinner for the next week. Well, I still have some leftovers from this week cause it was eight days worth of food. And then there were a couple days I ended up not eating dinner or not eating it for dinner um so when make pizza rolls or, or not pizza rolls um lasagna rolls so i have a recipe so i've got my grocery list made and i'll come home tomorrow and cook my lasagna rolls and then i will you know chill out and work on my corner to corner blanket Wednesday, the only thing plan the only thing on my schedule Wednesday is going to be um Aqua Extremes, the water aerobics class in the morning. And then Wednesdays is the day that I pick a tutorial out of the ones that I have saved, whether whether it's learning a new knitting stitch 
or whether it's finding a tutorial that I've saved on my watch list or saved on my queue on YouTube that I learn something new on Wednesdays. And then, so Wednesdays is that. And I very well may decide to run a Twitch stream while I'm learning something new. But Wednesdays is my easy day. Thursdays kind of easy, but it's just, well, Thursdays is an easy day because it's therapy, but it's in the middle of the day, so. But anyway, I've been rambling for almost 16 minutes now, so I'm going to go heat up my dinner, and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.